Well, we have already started this process, but it is going to be a long process. That's why I give a period of 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes time for the people even to understand um, the real meaning of the new evangelization. Why is it so important? And why we need to find new ways, new approaches in uh, helping people to encounter the Lord and to feel that Christian faith is relevant in their lives and is helping to empower them in their life. And so we need a long time because you know the message that is to be communicated to the people will take time at different levels of the church. We already started with the leaders of the church, the priests, the religious, the church organizations, and we are trying to, at the same time, to align themselves together with this whole trust. So, and uh, there's still a lot of questions are being asked, sure. and uh, clarifications, and because the new evangelization is such a broad, uh, you can say, perspective, mission that you just cannot say it in a word. And also, I can see it's unfolding because of the fact that uh, we have tried to put not only the clarity of our vision and mission, but we have also um, put the ins- infrastructures in place, which we are still doing, it, of course. So the first thing I did was, of course, to uh, renew our priests. That for me was important to try to reach out to them and uh, to make sure that we care for our priests and religious and therefore one of the important um, ongoing aspects of this uh, 10-year plan is to make sure our priests, our religious are well looked after, uh, they are cared for and uh, they are empowered in their ministry and that is why we are building a retirement home as well Mm -hmm for a proper retirement home uh, to give our priests uh, who are retired a certain dignity. And because of the work they have done, we want to show our gratitude to them. And also, the, besides that, we have the main offices that have been set up, uh, particularly the new offices like the Office of New Evangelization, which I think is very important as a catalyst to stimulate uh, and to reinforce mm-hmm the importance of being missionary, evangelical minded in the churches. And uh, we have also a very important group of people that we want to focus on. Uh, I wouldn't say they are the future of the church. In fact, they are already the present leaders. Uh, these are the youth and they are a very important group. And uh, the Office of Young People, I think they are doing a great job in spite of all the limitations they faced, all the difficulties. Uh, but they're doing a great job trying to bring more youth together and uh, not just reaching out to the youth in the campuses but also to bring them together, to work together. That is also a great, uh, I see, a great uh, achievement so far. And then our Family Life Commission also have been working together uh, with all the other family-related groups, uh, organizations, and in the parishes, in the archdiocese, there's so many of them. So they have brought them together to work together, to collaborate together, and I see that is also a great another achievement. Right. Another thing that we have done so far is to try to uh, be clearer of uh, how Catholic schools should work together. So I had a, a number of meetings with uh, the schools, with the uh, supervisors, the sponsoring authorities of Catholic schools, and we have about to form the Um, Council for Principals in Catholic Schools as well. That is a new initiative. Uh, We have already have a few dialogues with them and I think we are making progress and I think that will usher in well for the church. And besides that also we have the, of course, uh, the most important also, or one of the most important key elements, the communication office, which we have a really strengthened office uh, because that is what is needed in new evangelization. The Holy Father asks us to find new other, new methods and the new initiatives. And so we have started things for the diocese, uh, our revamp our website, 
and we have strengthened the communication office, we have gone into digital media, and I myself started the Instagram. <laughs>